Rani here. Should we play a game? And tonight's game is a bit different than the previous one. It's good. Well, or so they tell me. Twitch told me to play this game, so I'm going to play it. I haven't played it before. Heard it's pretty good. Let's get started. Trolls out. Get the big screen on. And start by picking a difficulty. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with normal. That's probably a good place to start, right? <laughs> you never know of a game that's sold. Does normal mean, you know, blockbuster difficulty? Or does it mean, you know, most normal people can finish the game on this difficulty? We've got an FMV here, what's happening? Huh. Wake up in a smoky car. Okay. Oh, we had an accident. Oh dear. Break for the fence. Then I have motion blowing. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hey, the snow effect's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of that. Particles hitting the ground and fading out. That's that's pretty cool. <laughs> A ghost town indeed. I love how messed up the PlayStation 1 visuals look. Okay, so we've got time controls. A bit different to say um, you know, your typical time control setup in that camera's kind of unusual. It kind of looks about five, six feet in front of the player. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so square would bring up a map. Triangle is run, so... Oh, and you can do like a back step, that's kind of cool. They kind of like countdown vampires in that regard. And do we have a... We have an inventory menu. We have nothing in it. <laughs> okay. A bit unusual for a game like this to have the map directly mapped to a um, base button like that. So not in here, I'm guessing. Oh, we've got sidestep buttons. Okay. And we can also look a bit further in front, is that? Oh yeah, okay, we can... Oh yeah. That's a pretty unusual moveset. I don't hear anything, dude. Oh no, she's turning into pixels! Ah! <laughs> Where are you going? Hey, wait! Stop! The run animation is interesting. <laughs> Normally someone running would kind of bring their arms up a bit, especially in the first few cycles, but that'll do. Oh, there she goes. Beware of dog. That's not a very nice thing to say about Cheryl. Oh! That's... I mean, w was that the dog? Or was that what the dog did? Hmm. Oh! Unique sound effects for when you walk in the entrails. That's nice. <laughs> oh, now the Dutch are invading. Oh my goodness. This is quite a camera angle. Yeah, it's a good thing we it's just got tank controls. That would not work without tank controls. Okay. Oh my goodness me. It's all getting a little experimental for my taste. And hey, this is pretty good lighting for the PlayStation 1. Damn. I mean, I imagine the textures are probably doing a lot of the work, but like it it has the impression of having a bit of ambient occlusion, ambient occlusion in the corners, but it's either some like pre-multiplication. Oh, hello. 
it's either some vertex painting done to, you know, put a bit of grime in the corners, or some really good texture work. Well, this is a good start, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, dude. What is that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, if there's one thing I wouldn't be doing right now, it's walking into this alley, to be honest. I'll probably turn around and leave. <laughs> like, if Cheryl went in here, she probably isn't coming out. <laughs> what is this? What's going on here? Meets me, dude. Oh, hello. Some kind of friendly monster. Oh, there's another one. Ah! Oh, did they close the door behind me? That's kind of cheeky. I'm assuming that was meant to lose, given I'm pretty sure they closed the door behind us. That was meant to lose, right? Oh, good. Interesting choice, I've no dialogue there. Oh, she's gone. Was gotten... I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm all right, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Uh huh. <laughs> Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month. Short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. I should say, this game's environments look great. I mean, obviously the fog is probably helping a lot, but the texture work and stuff... That's all I know. I'd say this is not far off the quality of the backgrounds and say a Resident mm -hmm. Evil or something like that. And it's real time. What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. Oh. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Yeah, have one. <laughs> Take this. <laughs> I hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. Got it? Sure do. <laughs> yeah, thanks. 
You'd do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Okay, there we go. Let's have a bit of an explore around this uh, little diner, I guess. Okay, so we have health drinks, so much like Countdown Vampires. <clears throat> ah, this must be the save point. Okay. Oh my god, that save screen is so fast! Oh! After Countdown Vampires, you have no idea how happy a save game screen is that fast makes me. Okay. <clears throat> a flashlight. Can we take the ketchup? No. <laughs> Monster comes up and just cover him in head to toe from mustard. Oh, the red box, is it? Okay. And a knife. I'm going to keep pressing the wrong button to open the inventory for quite a while. Can I take the radio? I guess not. Oh, we've got some kind of a groovy, like, um, interlacing effect. Kind of weird. This game, like, run in interlace mode. I didn't think the PlayStation 1 games did. Okay, I can equip that. I could use that if I was low on health for them not, so I'm not going to. Or is it some kind of like intentional effect? That's weird. Um okay. Let's get out of here. Like a radio, for example. Um Oh, that's a map, okay. That's quite unusual to kind of like have a stack of items and you have to take them off the stack one at a time. That's, that's sort of unusual. I can't really think of any other game in this style that really did that. Let's have a look at the map. So yeah, again, unlike most of the other games in the style I've played, this one is, it looks vaguely open world. I don't know if it actually is. Oh, there's something outside. Oh, it's amazing how quickly that saves. Oh, that's another door, silly. <laughs> Using that back step. What's that? Huh, radio. What's going on with that radio? Oh! <laughs> oh! Yes, I have to say, like, in terms of, like, control and kind of, like, camera scheme and things, this actually feels more, like, obscure than it does say Resident Evil. Okay. We're in, okay, we've got a... I probably want to switch to the gun, huh? <laughs> oh, I think I wasted the bullet. Oops. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? I mean, for a place with Silent Hill, it's bloody loud, isn't it? <laughs> and I... I can reload it. Cool. Okay. Now, can I take the radio? Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's leave here. I hate to say it. 
<laughs> little girl in a place full of like gigantic um, monstrous bats. Chance is not looking good. Okay, so yeah, we take a right out of here. I'm just switch to my other weapon, well, my knife, just because I have so little ammo for that thing that it doesn't make sense to use it unless I have to. Oh wait, is this ammo? Oh, okay. This game's giving me a lot of handgun ammo, huh? Ah, but the game has a really strict stamina meter, it's kind of like Kenny in Obscure. Hmm. Okay. I'm just curious to know what happens if I just completely ignore the map and go the other way. Oh, that's what happens, okay. I'm out of here. Ah, leave me alone! <laughs> game is like you'll be fine as long as you follow the um yeah the adventure line don't don't leave the adventure line that way it lies madness okay i think the other way was here oh i was really banking on getting stuck on that on that street light Okay, I can hit radio static. There's another one. In fact, these are quite like the bat things in... Oh, hello. These are quite like the bat things in uh, Countdown Vampires, the ones that did... Yeah, they were horrendously difficult to get past because they were massive and did tons of damage. Okay, let's get equipped up because we're about to be very close quarters with something. I'm going to guess that the flashlight now means that we can see where we're going down the passageway. So that wasn't necessarily a dream because all this place actually exists. You know, and the pile of dog entrails is definitely there. So we survived that somehow? I tell you, buddy, I would not be going back here after my first experience. I think I was meant to be shooting them, given the game's giving me tons of hang hangar ammo. Maybe the game's just easing me in gently, you know? I mean, the police officer was sort of like, oh yeah, yeah, don't, don't shoot at things unless you know what you're shooting at. And to be fair, I don't know what the hell those bat things are supposed to be. Oh, hang on, are these collectible items? Isn't this Cheryl's sketchbook? Hmm. She's at the school. Okay. Okay, we can okay, we can actually kind of explore the map. Okay, that's that's really cool. I've played a small amount of Silent Hill 2 and it didn't feel this open. Okay, a steel pipe? Okay, I will take the steel pipe, whatever that is. Okay. <laughs> it's me, I'm like... Okay. <laughs> okay, that, that seems a bit more useful than the knife. <laughs> Great animation, man. Okay. Let's go leg it past some enemies, shall we? So we're gonna wanna come out of this alleyway, take a left, and then go a few intersections, I think, and then Hang on. Wait, was that an animation when you run to the wall? Oh, I guess it wasn't, it just looked like it was. Okay, let's go. <laughs> You'll never catch me. I'm too fast and I have a pipe. <laughs> the guy does start panting if you run too much, but he doesn't seem to involuntarily stop or something, which is what I was kind of expecting. Hmm. But this 
Was it this uh, intersection? Nope. Oh well, I'll just take a right and then a... Actually, I'll keep going until I hit a T-junction and I'll take a right then. That makes sense. Something's drawing there. Good doggo. <laughs> oh, there's a big hole. Well, I never expected that. Does that mean we're at the... No, it doesn't. It just means it's a big hole. Okay. Cartographer neglected to put that on the map, huh? Left here. Nice that the map automatically put marked out with an X, though. That was, that's, a, that's a nice little touch. Okay. This is also a dead end. So it's... Less open than I thought it was, but <laughs> still sort of open, I guess. We got some nice little houses here. It's not all just like it's not all just like block office blocks and stuff like that. Got some nice little bespoke model houses. That's pretty good. That's a pretty nice touch. Okay. Oh, another big hole. Okay, so I guess we have to go south from the cafe and then west on Bradbury, right? Okay, head this way. Take it right to the next intersection. Is this the next intersection or is this an alleyway? This is an alleyway, keep going. Kind of what the game's given me a lot, of a, lot, a lot of pistol ammo, but then also two separate melee weapons right at the start of the game. I wonder if maybe the knife does more damage, but the pipe has longer range. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Okay, let's keep on trucking. Ooh, a car. Yeah, you might only be able to see like five feet, but there's clearly a lot in this in this little town, and uh, the fact that they've done what they can to kind of um, make it look detailed. I suppose the fact you only see part of it once makes it feel bigger as well. Oh, hello. Big hole. Okay, so let's try Elroy Street. <laughs> I wonder if the uh, police officer actually got out of this town, given that every road seems to go to a hole. <laughs> So from what I gather about these games, she's probably a, like a, a demon or something, or trapped in hell or something. I know that Silent, because I've played roughly half of Silent Hill 2, and I know that that technically has the same setting, but its kind of interpretation and use of it is very different. So what I know about the world from that game may not translate. May not be important or relevant here. Okay, let's see if we can go in one of these buildings, because I could presumably cut through or something, given that, given all the roads seem to lead to holes. Let's try this one here in the centre. That might be something we can go down. Oh, I might have got a bit disoriented though because I uh, let the camera turn around. Actually, there's a passage right down here. Hello. What was that, mate? Okay, I'll take the ammo. Ow! <laughs> What's this? Enemies in the horror game actually doing damage to me? What is this? This isn't how this is meant to work. Okay, yep, there's a big hole here. Keep heading this way. Cross around here. Uh, we have another alleyway here. See what's in here. 
Bad doggos. Oh, there's some kind of item in there. I shall lead them out and run in and grab that. Oh, they didn't follow me very far, did they? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a first aid kit. Okay. Ow! Ah! <laughs> wonder if a pacifist playthrough of this is possible. I mean, other than the seemingly scripted sequence in the bar, which I'm assuming you have to kill that thing to get out. Okay, where, where are we now? Let's have a look at the map. Okay, so we know this go, ends in a dead end, so let's turn around. Uh, let's see if we can get into this building here, because I could just want to throw a doorway. Nope. Okay, so we can head back to the cafe, I guess, and see if um, our policewoman friend has come back. Thinking if there's any other way we could go. We could try the bridges in the top left corner, sorry, top right corner, but that mm, might not be fruitful. Good one way to find out, though. Yeah, this is a bit more open than I remember um, Silent Hill 2 feeling at the very beginning. Well, of course, this isn't, you know, simply open. It's at least giving me the illusion of openness right from, day, right from the very beginning. Oh, here it is. Okay. Might as well save, I guess. We've you know, discovered some of the map and we've... <clears throat> okay, yeah, we've discovered some of the map and we've found all sorts of things going on in there. Got some resources. Let's take a look. Do we have a health? Oh yeah, so like, um, Astasis is red, which I'm assuming means bad. Okay, so that didn't actually make a huge amount of difference. Oh, that's kind of cool, like a picture in picture type thing. So I probably should have used the health kit instead. Alrighty then, let's carry on. Let's head to the northeast and see if we can find anything in that end of town. If all else fails, I can go back into that alley where the Cheryl note was because just because it had a thing in it pointing me to the school doesn't mean I'm supposed to go there immediately. That was my interpretation of it, but it's probably wrong. Um, okay. Keep heading north and see if there's anything along this street. Okay, so it's been going a bit further than I was expecting. We have some kind of bridge with some kind of big pile of gunk on it. Okay. Oh, and a friend. Hello, friend. And the second one of these. Oh, and there's our car. That's cool. Dude, you're too fast. Fine, I'll deal with you. Oh, okay. Got bored and flew off. All right. I'm happy enough for that. What's this? Does this go anywhere? No. Hmm. We've established that goes nowhere. So what we can try next is I'm just going to try east towards the convenience store, see if anything's over there. If not, we might be able to go over this grassy area um, or up here and avoid the crack in the road, possibly. So this way's east. Let's go that way and see what's, if there's anything over here. I did say a convenience store. That might be a good place to stock upon resources if it's um, available. Is this one the convenience store? Have a look on the map again. It does say the convenience store is right here, but anything so far looks like one. Oh, it's a dog. Hello, boy. 
Ah! Alright. Where's that big hole in the ground? Or the big pile of rubble? It looked like this might be a bridge, and I guess the bridge is just going to be a smoldering wreck. Yep, here's that bridge. And there's a big hole in the ground. Okay. Oh! And that looked like the car of the, uh, <laughs> the lady we met earlier. Let's head back and see if she's there. Oh! Well, she left us some ammo in any case. Not that I do, we'll pick it up. I think I can see something in the back of the car as well. Oh yeah, sure, I'll take that, whatever that is. Okay, let's have another look on the map. So, I'm pretty sure that this entire north, yeah, this northeastern sector is kind of cut off from the southwestern sector. So let's head to the intersection with the main highway that we just came from and see if we can cross the big grassy area up here. Something's getting closer. See, oh no, didn't, didn't quite manage to lose them in the trees. <laughs> Where is this intersection? I'm going to swap, swap to my handgun given I'm actually taking quite a beating and I seem to have a lot of a lot of bullets. <laughs> I mean, do I actually have 99 or is that a limit to how many it can display or something? Or? Keep on moving, just keep on moving, it'll be fine. Right, have we got to the intersection yet? No. I don't know if I might have passed it and not noticed because I was being, you know, chased by a bat thing. <laughs> okay, this isn't the open hills I was expecting. I'm, I'm going to wait until I've, you know, finish this game, but I'd like to see the entire, you know, like a boundary break zoom out of this map. It's it's very dense. There's a lot more detail in it than I really ever expected for a game of this period. Okay, so there's a fence all the way along here. I'm going to guess it's actually a waste of resources to fight these guys, because I'm going to guess they're infinitely respawning. You know, this isn't like, say, you know, your Resident Evil or something, where you can clearly see that they're in place very uh, precisely and specifically in a room. They just seem to just pop out of the fog. So the the um, the PlayStation differing, it's it's very aesthetic. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, this isn't accessible either. Right, <laughs> wait for him to go that way and run. <laughs> Let's go there. I think I did see a way out onto the grass over here. Nope. <laughs> okay. So, I, I guess we pretty much. Have we been for the for the alleyway at the back of the cafe? Because that looks like it runs through, and I don't remember an alleyway running all the way through a building. Let's have a look. I'm sure I missed some blatantly obvious signposting that would have told me exactly what to do, huh? Oh! Convenient store. How convenient. Be on a guard, though. Now, these assets would not look out of place in a PlayStation 2 game. They really wouldn't. Oh, what an inconvenient place for an ice cream box and an ice cream che a chest freezer and convenience store, huh? Wow, a lot of health drinks. Okay. So, thinking about it, thinking about it. So far, all the places we've been able to visit have, have, have yeah, they've been marked pretty clearly on the map. Hmm. That, of course, does make sense. It's just a bit of an observation that it hasn't been a matter of looking for some unmarked building on the map. Okay. 
another health another health kit. It is. I shall certainly take it. I will probably need it. Let's go somewhere. No. One of the problems the game does have a little bit is the whole you know cosmetic door thing where there's just doors that go that don't go anywhere. They're not even, it doesn't even tell you that they're locked. That might be part of this game's vibe though. I mean like you know <laughs> so I'm under the impression the whole thing about Silent Hill is it's kind of a projection of your psyche or something, right? Oh, hello. Hello. I thought I could get behind that car, but I really couldn't. Okay, so let's aim for the alleyway out the back of the cafe and see if there's anything around there. Oh, that's so accessible. Ah, oh. that key. I shall take it. And is this is a health drink. Okay, yep. They are giving me a lot of resources this early in the game, right? I guess they're kind of exper expecting people to get a little lost and, you know, need some resources to top them off. Just to show, even if you're making a, a horror game, it's, yeah, you know, it's... <laughs> it doesn't always pay to just be nasty to the player. Okay, is this, is this it for the area? No shooting hoops in here? Okay, let's leave. What does one do with a key of woodman and a key of lion? Oh, was that a passageway? Okay, now where have we ended up? We're at the bottom here. Um, let's check this other way here. I think this was one of the ones that just had an item pick up in it. Have a look. Hello. I'm biting my blood today. No, thank you. <laughs> Checking there's not say a strip along the edge of the hole that you can maybe walk around, but I don't think there is. Hmm. So, is there anything else marked on the map that we haven't visited yet? What's this big grey block here on the corner? Oh, it's a fenced off area. I wonder if there's a gate that we can get through. Nope. <laughs> Is this just a little fun stuff here? Okay. Is this door accessible? Nope. There's some really, really, really nice texture work for the time. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, hang on. Did I take a wrong turn in the alleyway? I think I might have done. Or is that just... Or is it the alleyway never went there in the first place? They're surprisingly easy to lose, those, those monsters. I'm going to guess it gets a bit harder as the game goes on. And it's probably not all open like this, so yeah, the AI may fare, be may fare better in smaller, more confined circumstances. Okay, let's head back into the alleyway and see if something down there. I like all the unique buildings as well, like they're, they're all the unique businesses and things, not just generic shop.
Okay, there's something here waiting to greet us. We can hear the radio. There's another game that did that, and I'm trying to think what it was. It did the exact same thing of being able to hear the radio. Oh, I think it was Lone Survivor, which is probably doing it as a reference to this, right? Okay, it's down here. Around here. Through the gate. Have a look at the map. Yeah, okay. And I'm thinking this was th that bit that the kind of bat thing jumped in this from. I think it was this passage right here, so. Okay. So how do we get to the to the school in the southwest? Given that all of the roads that head there appear to be fenced off. Um. Hmm. Probably missing some really, really obvious signposting as usual. Yeah, so I guess while the alleyway was real, what, what lay at the other end wasn't. That was nice, a bit of a audio cue when you hit the fence. That's, that's a nice touch. Alright, alright, let's try and make some actual progress because we've, <laughs> we've walked around in circles enough. Where can we go next? I'm going to have a little bit more of a look at this corner here. Around here. Even these these buildings all look unique. I wonder if there's anything interactive in them. Also, this is a lot of seemingly unique textures. I wonder if they have some kind of streaming solution here. Because there's no music. Well, you know, they'd, they'd have... Oh. Yeah, they'd have the... Uh, one of the big reasons they didn't do a whole lot of streaming on the PlayStation 1, other than the processing power limitations, was the disk drive could only really do one thing at a time. You could either use it for playing music, or you could use it for other stuff. Given there's no music, they might be using it for streaming. That'd be quite smart. This is why a lot of games on the PlayStation 1 had sort of like MIDI sounding soundtracks, or really, really, really well put together um, sort of um, tracker music. Uh, because they, yeah, they were using the disk drive for other things at the time. Not just a matter of having the space on the disk, it's being able to access it. Okay. There's this grassy section here. Oh, this is just more houses. <laughs> Lead the dogs away a little bit. And then come back down here and see if there's something worth seeing down. Oh! Notes! I think I walked past these earlier. Doghouse, Levin Street. Yeah, I just walked straight past these earlier. I, I, I kind of saw them and I just assumed there was just some background detail. Okay, Levin Street. Doghouse. Okay. The Levin Street is this one right here. The grass footstep noise is a bit strange. Ah, oh, the doghouse. Ow! Ah! <laughs> Oh, they're, they're really leaning with the hit detection, huh? Okay, we're inside the house. I think we've already taken damage there, let's have a look. Yep, we're just peachy. Okay, so we have another health kit. I've just been, I think I've just been really lucky with the um, hitboxes here. I, I don't think that's, I, I certainly don't think it's skill. I don't think it's meant to be that easy to dodge them. Ah, that door. 
as a justification for being closed. And tons of ammo, like... Oh, dude, 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 there's pistol ammo. What do you mean there's nothing useful? Thank you. And then some war hanging ammo. It kind of looks like a box of cigarettes, huh? <laughs> okay, let's save. It kind of feels like there should be a limit on how far I can sprint, because I'm pretty sure that's the reason I'm just able to, you know, scarp her away from combat. Okay. Yeah, this is a really nice model. You think about, say, the houses in GTA San Andreas, for example. They're about as detailed as this is. And that's a whole console generation ahead. I think it's a bottle of coke, isn't it? <laughs> I am, yeah. Um, I think I, I think I understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, seems to be getting away of just avoiding all the enemies so far. The game keeps like showing me in ammo. I think I'm supposed to be using it, but I haven't really had to so far. Okay, what's through there? Ah, keys for Eclipse down at the bottom of Elroy Street. Okay. Oh, is this still usable? Oh, it is. Cool. Ah, okay. So that last lock is presumably where that key is. So just by kind of look, I've already found most of the keys. Oh, actually, I'll just save for a leave. <laughs> the back step. <laughs> okay. Oh, this game saves so quickly. It's so nice with the playing Countdown Vampires, having a game that actually saves in, in, the, <laughs> in reasonable time. Okay, so take a right, take a left. Cross one intersection, take a left. Okay. Might be a big stack of dogs waiting for us by the door. Oh, there they are. <laughs> okay. Intersection, on the left. <laughs> I guess I was not expecting to be able to just run past everything like this. Okay, I think that's one intersection. I can see now why this game has a dedicated face button for the map, you need it. <laughs> Oh, no, that's the alleyway. No, it's still going. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's just another fluffy boy. Ah! <laughs> Lose him in the trees! Oh, that actually worked. I can't believe it. <laughs> okay. So they mentioned the key for Eclipse or something, right? Um, and we have a certain map which is here somewhere. Oh, no, it's boarded up. And nice touch, the little animation, the noise when you hit it, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of detail for a game that's old. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe I should kill this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's how it's full of blood, it's off. Ah! <laughs> I'm not sure if this game has auto-aim or not yet. Okay, so the map is pointing it as being somewhere here. I think I might have taken a bit of damage there. Yeah, a little bit. Ah, all peachy again. Um, okay, so it mentioned something about an eclipse key, a key for eclipse or something, and the arrow is... Looks like the marker is slightly down this void somewhere. 
Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what do we have here? There it is. And we have a, another health item. I'm getting a lot of these early on in the game. That weird that grass footstep sound that sounds like a, a dog panting. I wonder if that's a bug. It doesn't. <laughs> strange noise for it to make, isn't it? Uh, so we're going back to the doghouse, which is the big red dot over there. Okay. I wonder if I'd already got that key if it would give me a clue for the other ones. Okay. Intersection. Yeah, it's a big map with a lot of detail. I'm, I'm, when, I, when I finish playing this, I definitely want to see uh, like a boundary break zoom out of the whole thing, because I imagine it's one of the more intricate city maps I've seen on the PlayStation 1. Okay, that's the crack in the wall. <laughs> Get out of here, flappy thing. <laughs> Alright. Doghouse is somewhere over here. dog and there's the house <laughs> this is nothing useful if you're not quite on top of it it's like save games no they're not useful the ammo that was on there no that's not useful okay yay Right, let's see what's through here. What? Again, this is... I, I'm curious enough to do something special with this lighting, so it looks really, really good for like a dynamic light on the PlayStation 1. Let's sit out in the snow and drink health drinks. <laughs> Obscure, um, yeah, it ended suddenly. <laughs> I thought I had another two or three hours to go on it, and it's just, oh, that was the final boss. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, it took me about three or four attempts to get through the boss, but once I, got, once I understood what it wanted me to do, it was quite easy to get through it. And um, I don't think having a companion actually makes that boss any easier, so I just left one behind and and um, did it solo, which made it easier to get the achievement for keeping everyone alive. Okay. I think this is the same alley we were in earlier, but... Oh, hello. Yeah, what we've done here is genius. We've taken the white fog and we've turned it into black fog. I wonder if this did... Oh, okay, we're on the other... Ah, okay. We're now on the other side of the crack in the road. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I got disoriented and I thought we were back at um, where we were before. Okay. Heading down to the school. <laughs> Yeah, Classic Resident Evil might be next. Yeah, that's a good that's a good point. I mean, um, I've played the remake of one roughly halfway through, but I've never played the original original. Ah! I mean, Countdown Vampires was probably not worth tuning in for. That was a long game that was not very good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I didn't... I didn't get the good ending in Countdown Vampires, but I'm sure as hell not going back and trying it again. <laughs> okay. Oh! Okay, we're coming up on a hair on the road. Come on. Wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> pacifist run, pacifist run. Okay. Now, unsurprisingly, it's no lighter in here. Oh, what's this map? Shell. I don't know, we've left obscure and we've gone straight into another horror high school. What's going on? Um, I'm guessing we're at the yeah, we're lobby down here on the, on the, on the bottom of the center. Okay. And like all, <laughs> like all good high schools, well, schools, it has a clock tower, obviously. Okay. Oh, I don't think there's many, I think there's many <laughs> nice surprises out there. What's in here? Table of some kind. Oh, a save point. Okay. Make mental note of that. Oh, I'll fight them as well. Okay. Yeah, I seem to have a lot of a lot of health items. That's, I've got four first aid kits, six health drinks. That's a, that's a lot of health items. Maybe I should have played the game on hard, huh? Okay, that's locked. Uh, what's the other way? Ah, it's also locked. Okay, well, that is. Oh wait, there's a reception we can bin. There it is. Oh, this bird's well. Blood everywhere. <laughs> yep, makes sense to me. <laughs> okay, what is happening in here? Oh, a picture of a door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, I see we uh, this is where we keep all our handgun ammo in the school. Okay. And a lot of detail in this, like I mean yeah, that radiator and stuff, that's that's a lot of small details to include. I'd like to see some of the assets in this game, they look really well put together. Okay. Okay, go around the loop. Ooh, the clock tower. Oh, okay. And it stopped at 10, okay. Is that 10 in the morning or 10 in the evening? Probably the morning. Like if it was evening, it probably would have climbed. Actually, no. It's a twelve-hour clock. Okay. Let's send them work away up. Okay, the bathroom. I wonder if he's got anything as smart to say as um, um, obscure boys. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I have to say, a lot of these assets wouldn't look out of place in a PlayStation 2 game. They're that good. I don't know if they ever did re-release it on the PlayStation 2, but they probably wouldn't have had to have done much to it. Let's try the melee weapons. Oh!
Okay, so maybe I should be backing up a bit to use that range. Okay, yeah, this thing actually has a lot more range than it looks. Okay, the radio's gone silent, which probably means it's, got, it's done, right? Yeah, okay, it stopped twitching. Okay. Everything in here? Oh, there's no way to know about getting past that, I suppose. How much damage did that do? Not a lot. Okay. Okay, let's explore the neighboring room. What's going on here? Oh, got another door. Okay, it's jammed. Just the way back outside. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. This was the. Yeah, this, this is the. Uh, this is the reception that we just passed on the entrance. So yeah, we're back all the way down here. So we've opened up another side door. Okay. Alrighty then, so what's in here? This one's also jammed. Okay, that entire room's cut off. It's also jammed. Uh, okay, there's one more door in here. These doors. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's see what the way to stairs. Kind of strange in one of these games actually having stairs that you know function, you can just step onto them and walk up them. Keep expecting to have to get into the right position, press action, and kind of like march up them in a straight line. Okay. Something in here. I suspect it may be pretty nasty. Oh, I guess not. Miscellaneous chemical. I shall take it, sure. Looks like a rusty book there. What's making all that noise? Spooky. Oh, is that a, is that a human hand? Oh, it's a statue! Okay! <laughs> okay. What's going over here? Ah! Well, hang on, am I? I'm curious now, are my handgun bullets actually going up? Because I have, well, a lot of them. Okay, 154. I saw I had 99 earlier and wasn't quite sure if they were capped at 99, but it looks like they can really go high. Alrighty. Anything down here? Nope. Okay. Keep pressing the wrong button because I've got the wrong muscle memory from Countdown Vampires now. Okay. And it's even marking on the map where I've seen things like the Statue of the Hand. That's, that's really cool. That one's locked. This one isn't. This does not look like a play. Other than the, you know, obviously like the artifacting and stuff, which is just part of the graphics hardware on the PlayStation. This looks way more detailed than a PlayStation 1 game would ever be. Yeah, if someone was making, say, like a, a Unity game to look like a PlayStation 1 game, they wouldn't put this much detail in, because people would go, it doesn't look like a PlayStation 1 game.
Okay, so we've moved into the neighboring room, which we're all the way down there. Okay. Nothing in here. Oh. Oops. Oh, I can hit both of them. Some of these things with the represent kids giving us our spell. Get off me, dude. Need to back up a bit as I'm a little bit too close. I'm not actually making good use of the range of this weapon. Oh, when there's two of them, it's actually kind of tricky because, like. Oh! Oh! That's good information. I swear this isn't a rage quit, but I was about five minutes off um, ending for the day anyway. So thanks for watching. <laughs> 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 good evening.